Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? Got my awesome shirt on. Yeah. I'll have to come up with some more shirts. Well, I'm pretty sure that Mustang sold out overnight. I think, well, I think the last few stickers were bought a couple hours ago, so we'll try to get that done. Now, I'm going to fill out the sheet. I'm not sure if I'll do it before next weekend. I may do it Wednesday, but Sticker Giant got a hold of me and my, my dang stickers aren't even supposed to be here till next Friday. And I should have known, man. You know, I waited to make sure I had the proof and everything was approved and was going to printing because that way I know there's not going to be a mistake. But they usually have, usually by the next day, your item has shipped. It didn't ship till yesterday, last night. And says it won't be here till Friday. So <laughs> I was like, okay. <clears throat> so if I do do the drawing Wednesday, I won't have your stickers sent off because everybody's getting stickers now. I know everybody's going to, you're going to get your new stickers. I know a lot of you guys are like, I got enough stickers. Well, these are new ones, guys. So, and um, even though some of you told me that for a while, I kept sending them anyway, but then you'd tell me again, I don't need no more stickers. So I didn't want to piss nobody off. So I, I quit sending them, but like just J Mr. Osgood, he's been telling me that for a while. Well, a lot of you have now, but Mr. Osgood does all the time and I'd still send him a few anyway. I don't know. I just felt like he paid for them. You should get them, but you know, I understand you don't want them cluttered around. I'm, I mean, so I, I don't, but these are new stickers. So I won't have your deals mailed off until they come. But I could fill out the sheet, show you the sheet, so everybody could see their name and their numbers, and then do the drawing. And uh, then when the stickers come in, go ahead and mail them off. But like I said, any other, every other time, this is probably the fifth or sixth time I've ordered them. They come within like a couple days, and uh, this time not the case. But uh, so anyway, um, um. Hold on a second. I got to respond to something and say it with my chest. And uh, Mr. Richard Harrison, I emailed you. I don't. I think you're like me. You don't get them emails or something. I wanted to make sure you got the package I sent you because it says delivered, but I remembered about something you said you moved, and I'm hoping I didn't send it to the old address. Um, so anyway, if you happen to see this video, if you could check that out and make sure you got it. Um, I put some things in there for your grandson. Um, but... I also added my phone number because a lot of you guys have it now because it's so much easier. I mean, Mr. Keebler, you know, Jersey Devil, so many of you have, and it's so much easier to text me because I, I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's like your, your email sometimes will automatically throw something in a spam folder or something. I don't know, but I get almost every text. Can't promise I can always remember to respond to them, but I usually get them. And, um, so I gave you my number in case you wanted it, but that, that's, uh, I just sent it a little while ago, so I don't know if you're going to get it or not. And, um, like I said, the Mustang sold out and I got more stickers coming. There's these cars came in. I got two more of these awesome Porsche castings and this beauty and they're up now. I believe it's sticker number five, the purple gasser. And, uh, it's supposed to be here Friday as well. There's two of these, one of these. So first, second, third, or you pick, I don't know, whoever buys stickers, leave a comment how you want to do it. And uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember who it was, but one of you guys was the first or second person to buy stickers on the uh, Mustang and you asked for certain numbers. Yeah, those are still available. Um, I haven't felt, so I'll make sure you get the numbers you asked for. And, uh, but I just wanted to mention that because you guys can ask. There goes that AC. Sorry, Mike. I hope you can still hear me. 
I don't want to run up there and turn the damn thing off again. Um, I hope it isn't, dang it, I hope it isn't messing up everything. Anyway, um, these are up there now, and like I said, they're pretty sweet. Two of these and one of these. Um, we'll see what happens. And then uh, the video yesterday, I know I went off on my little political rant. Oh well, you know me. Everything I said is true, in my opinion, in most people's opinion. But anyway, I wanted to say this. I know a lot of guys ain't going to comment because a lot of guys don't want to say how they feel. That's totally fine. I don't care. But also, a lot of you did comment and YouTube hit it. I didn't even know. I didn't even know, but, but to see a comment, what you got, if you want to see the newest comments or you can't find your comment, you have to go back to it and you have to pull up the video. And like, I'm going to go to comments, I'm going to pull up the video. Let me pause that. And then right here, scroll over, or I'm sorry, hit comments now up here scroll over to newest boom now everybody's comments will come up yeah youtube takes it upon themselves to censor but you know it's russia it's russia that's interfering with the election not social media not the paid off people that work for the same people trying to destroy us it's russia russia's trying to interfere no it's these pieces of shit that have been doing it forever but they interfered with all of your comments if it had anything to do with that. And, and who are they to do that? See, that's what irks me about them, Marxist pigs. But anyway, there's not a whole lot of comments, um, <clears throat> but I don't have much more to show you. So just for the guys that want to hang out, we're gonna read some of these. Just because YouTube pissed me off by trying to hide them so the rest of you guys can't see how people really feel. And that's what they do. But anyway, right off the bat, I pinned Honest Diecast comment because it was the one I found. I found some in the in the studio, and I was like, I don't see those. So I go looking, and I can't find them in my comment. And then I remember what Old Man Diecast said about hit newest and see if they're hidden in there. And they were. And I found a bunch of more from you guys that were hidden in there. Uh, these guys are snakes, man. And, it, and 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 it's all common sense. You don't shut up the liar. You sh you're not afraid of the guy that lies. You're afraid of the guy that's telling the truth. And that's why they hide that stuff. But anyway, like Anna said, well said, James. The, the communist policies and Marxist views need to stay the hell out of our government and our country. At this point, it's not just about left versus right. It's about salvaging our effing country, our rights, and our freedom. Trump is by far the candidate that will get us there and get us back on track 100%. It's time to stand up, wake up, make some noise, and get to the polls. This is way deeper than just an election, folks. Absolutely right. It is. And, and like you said, it ain't about left or right. That left or right crap is in our minds. You know, a lot of us, the Democrat was the way to go. It's not like that. It's no longer... We think that it's uh, them people up there, they're all playing the same damn game. Trump is calling them out on it. That's why even some Republicans won't stick to him because they're in on it too. But anyway, that's why it's uh, Then we got McNasty. Dang, bro, that Chrome F40 is wild. McNasty, he's in Scotland. He needs to watch what the hell he says now too because they'll come get him. You want to live like that? Keep on voting Democrat. Ask McNasty. Ask McNasty if he's allowed to say anything. Hell no, he better not say anything. Might as well be in North Korea. Then we got Kevin Kennedy. Really nice segment with Chew It with Hewitt. Yeah, that was going to be my name on my other YouTube channel. But people were like, you always, people always hide behind. They want to say all this stuff, but they don't say who they are. So you know what my other new YouTube channel was? James Hewitt. Yeah, I didn't hide behind shit. Anyway, um, Chew It with Hewitt. Well said, James. Watch till the end, my friend. It's a serious time in our country. Absolutely right, brother. And uh, that's Kevin Kennedy. Then we've got Simple Man Mustang Diecast. That's Steve Hansen. Boom! Chew it with Hewitt. I don't know if I catch on, huh? We're chewing it with Hewitt right now. Do it to it, Hewitt. <laughs> oh, that was another corny one, wasn't it? All right, anyway. Um, boom! Chew it with Hewitt. I like it. 100% truth. Absolutely. At this point, those who can't, don't understand the truth of what's happening aren't living in reality. 
Have a good weekend, brother. Absolutely. Like I said, a lot of them just don't know. There was so much I didn't know until I looked. Trump opened me up to a lot of things. Like I said, I never liked that guy at all. And when he started saying that shit when he was running in 2016, I was like, what? I started digging so deep into stuff. I was like, this guy that I can't stand, I couldn't stand The Apprentice. I couldn't stand that guy. One arrogant ass, if you ask me. But everything he said, I could verify. And I was like, holy crap. And then that just digs a deeper hole. And I start researching more stuff about, you know, the Bilderberg group. The I mean, this goes Mark Dice. If you don't know who Mark Dice is, subscribe to him. He does, he makes sure he knows what he's talking about before he tells you what's going on. All these other YouTubers will jump the gun on some shit. Not him. He'll wait till he makes sure he has the facts. And what he purports to you is the truth. I got so much from, I got some of his books. One of his latest ones is an excellent book. Um, oh, damn, I can't believe I don't find my name of it. Oh, my God. I can't even picture it in my, in my it's right upstairs. Um, damn it. It'll come to me. But anyway, he. I started researching more and more, and more, uh, Trump was dead nuts right on it. That's why everybody turned on him. They don't, he don't want, they don't want him exposing this shit. Anyway, yeah, once you find those things out, it's an eye-opener. And then we got Mondo Speedy. We were taxed at 41% on our overtime in California. When I knew I was going to have to work overtime, I filed a tax exempt form for that month. I got a guy at our shop who does that. Um, for that month or two, my record was 160 hours. It was mandatory overtime. So we had to find ways to beat the game. Yeah, that's a lot of hours, man. Um, but yeah, there's a guy at uh, my shop that does that. He'll, he'll, he'll do that when he's working overtime. Not a bad idea. You get to keep that money, but the only problem is you're not gonna get to keep that money, really, because it's gonna be reported and they're gonna hammer you at the end of the year. One way or the, the other, they're gonna get that damn money because I've done it both ways. And, and I changed mine years ago, probably 15, to where I keep most of my money through the year. I don't care if I have to pay them at the end of the year. And, and even then at that rate, when I work too much overtime, they take it. And, um, and, and then at the end of the year, I still have to pay them. So it's, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But I got sick of giving them all that money and then getting back, you know, $3,000, $5,000. Why? Why? Screw them. I'll give you, you're going to screw me anyway. I'll give you what I owe you at the end of the year, and I'll just keep my money through the year. But they still rob you on overtime. So I hate overtime. My bonus Oh man, they slam that bonus, and it's like, what did, what did you do to get this bonus? You didn't do shit. I mean, the government get it, the government gets paid for you, good, bad, or ugly. It don't matter what happens to you. They get paid off of you. Everything. It doesn't send you to prison. They're gonna make mega bucks off the tax dollars that they use to keep you. I mean, it's it, there's there it's a win win for them. Everything. It's it's so pathetic. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, dang, Fern, I just got tons of texts from Fern. We'll have to check them out later or here, maybe here in a minute. But anyway, um, yeah, that's some heck of some taxing, dude. And that's a lot of hours, 160 hours. Whew. Then we got Mr. Neil Cummings. Hey, man, brother, if they cheat again, because they did before. You couldn't say that before. Notice how you can say it now? Because it's already came out. They did cheat on all kinds of shit. And everybody's like, several judges said they did not. No, several judges said they would not listen to the case. That's what they said. We have no grounds to stand on. We're not going to hear your case. That's how they avoided taking it in and, and happen to admit what they seen. It, it, anyway, we'll let that go. That was 2020. But uh, I'll take him here in Canada. Yeah, a lot of countries would like to have Trump. And um, then again, we got another one from Mr. Cummings. Those stickers are awesome. In on the Stang drawing, and we'll hopefully get in on the Porsche. Well, these guys are blowing my phone up today, man. Get in on the Porsche when they go up. Right on. It's up, brother. Oh, Mr. Pruce. Well, I hope I didn't upset him yesterday because I was talking. I don't know how he votes, and I don't care. <laughs> but uh, Florida, our. Uh, uh, Hawaii. I was just baffled last week when I seen how many people there in Maui after what happened to Lahaina, unless there's something, unless they gave them some more aid that I don't know about, they gave those people $700 per household. That is a bunch of shit. And you want to give millions of my tax dollars to Zelensky? 
Have you looked up how much Zelensky is worth now? How did that happen? In the past four years, look at how much he's worth now. Hmm, I wonder where that came from. Yeah, I was baffled at the people that still will vote Harris. I'm not, not, I ain't even going to call it Democrat because it ain't Democrat and Republican anymore. It's, it's your freedom or, or tyrannical government. And that's what it is. George Orwell, 1984. This, all of this. And that's what it comes down to, guys. So I'm so shocked when I see that. It, 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 it was really shocking to me, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, Mr. Prue said, yes, James, my thoughts exactly. I was going to order me the, the Liberty Walk F40 Chrome. Thank you for your kind generosity. Much appreciated. Enjoy your weekend. You too, buddy. And no, you're the one that's generous, man. You definitely deserve that. And I was afraid you might do that. That's why I said so. I wanted to surprise you. But I wasn't sure how soon I was going to send those cars to you, especially if you're in on these next two drawings. And I was like, man, between now and then, he might order that F40. And, it ain't, and, and it'll still be a surprise, but it'll be a You know what I mean. So I wanted to let you know ahead of time that I got you one. So right on, buddy. And uh, we got Eddie P. Simple Customs. You're 150% correct. You hit the nail right on the head. Thanks for the ride. Yep, right on, brother. Yeah, you can tell. Once you dig, you know. Once you've been through it, you know. These guys are not for us. They're not for us. Every, they don't do nothing for us. They do. They're they're totally happy with giving our money away to everybody else but us. They should be all for us saving our money on overtime. They should be all for not taxing us on that. Letting us keep that money, pay our bills, and put it back into the economy. No. Hell no. I want you broke like a dog. I'll get more out of you when you're a servant to me. That's it. That's all it's about. And then we got Mr. Brian Johnston. James, love the Chew It With Hewitt session. <laughs> right on, buddy. Mr. Deemable. LOL, about halfway in. I'll let you go. <laughs> and he starts a laugh emoji. Never stop the rants. Don't get me started with all the sh sh shit emoji that's going on. Trump 2024. Right on, brother. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what he was talking about. What, he got halfway through my video and left? And then, but then I thought, well, no, he knew about my rant. So I went back and I looked and I didn't even realize right before I said all that, I pulled another one of those Mr. Siler probably like, there he goes again. I said, well, I'm going to let you guys go. And then I went on for another 30 minutes. Yeah, Mr. Siler probably noticed that, which I didn't see him comment in here. Like I said, a lot of guys ain't going to say anything about any of this. And it's fine. You don't have to. Um, but I did actually gain some subs. I don't know what happened there. I figured I'd lose some. I always do. They don't like that shit. You know, some people say, I don't, I, you know, I don't know how to watch what I say. Oh, I know how to watch what I say. I just say what I want to say. Uh, there's, what are you talking about? Watch what I say. The only person that needs to watch what they say is a liar. That's who needs to watch what he says because he needs to make sure he can repeat that next time. But if you're telling the truth and how you feel about something, you don't need to watch nothing. Now, I don't go around, you know, making fun of crippled people or something. You know what I mean? Sure, I, I watch that kind of stuff. I don't try to, you know... Just because I see a dude looks like a freak all dressed up like a fairy princess at Walmart saying, yeah, how can I help you with tits and a bow in his hair? I don't make fun of him, even though inside I probably am. But I try to be cool about it. And if I do mess up and say something like, sorry, man, I'll, I will admit, oh, sorry, my bad, bro. And, uh, no, anyway, just kidding with that part. But still, no, um, I know what I'm saying when I say it. But anyway, um... Yeah, that's what Mr. Deemable said. Loves the ramps, Trump. Uh, loves the rant, Trump 2024. Then we got Mike Dyson. Got the got the AC going for you, buddy. Trump will fix it, no matter what tools are needed. Thanks for the shout out. You bet, buddy. And I catch a lot of your videos. I just like you're another one of those guys. I usually catch on my lunch. I'm stuffing my face watching yours videos. Old man diecast. He pops up almost every day at my lunch. I can't, but I don't get a comment. I, I'm just going through eating going to the next video but um so i do see him and uh yeah he he's not going to be able to fix it with a lot of without a lot of help and that's going to be the problem here we got mr richard harrison oh my goodness he wrote a letter he wrote a letter but it's uh i had my debit card hacked a couple weeks ago luckily the bank was able to put the money back on my card i for one am happy that you use your platform to talk about the issue going on with our country right now that's the problem people are scared to speak about it to speak out about it it's a scary thought that that crazy woman might be our next president ain't that the truth 
What this administration has done to this country in only four years is unbelievable, is unbelievable and unacceptable. I really hope people wake up and wake up fast to what is happening right now. Thank you for speaking out about it. I'm glad you were able to get Mr. Proust that matching car to go with his chase because he has been so kind to everyone. Absolutely. Have a great weekend to you and everyone here at the channel. Mr. Harrison, Richard Harrison always has something nice to say to all of us in the community. And uh, yeah, that's what I said. He wasn't getting special treatment. If anybody's been getting special treatment, it's been all of us from Mr. Bruce. I, I, I was thinking back the other day, and I can't count how many boulevards that guy has sent us. I mean, it is unbelievable. Not to mention the ones he sent me that I, I keep, but just the ones he sent that I gave away. I mean, and the other cars he has sent me. And, and a lot of those I passed on. I mean, that guy is unbelievable. So like I said, I hope in no way I offended him. I mean, or anything. Matter of fact, he's one guy I would forgive if he did go and vote Democrat. I might hold it inside and be like, oh, first. But I'd, I'd, I'd forgive it and I'd ignore it. And I'd just be like, well, maybe he knows something I don't know. But any of you other guys, there's not going to be no excuse for it, man. Just don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and we got Mr. Red Eye 24 7 Hot Wheels. I still ain't figured out what that's about. Man, they use mine. I'm always broke. <laughs> Man, they use you know, his credit card or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's talking about the women in his life use his. My granddaughters will. Psh. How do you tell them no? How do you tell them? Yeah, here, put it on this. Put it on this. Put it on this. Uh, whatever. Then we got Mr. Robert Garner. Those F illegals. Never went to Kamala, Biden, Pelosi, and all them a-hole neighborhoods. Did you notice that? Well, yeah, they're not allowed there. Of course not, Mr. Gardner. That's for us. You know, that's like all the people wasting fuel. Taylor Swift will tell you, quit, yeah, quit putting out such a high carbon footprint as she travels around this world in her jet more than any other human being on the planet. But hey, they are different people than us. We're dirt. We're, no, 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 no. Oxygen is reserved for those guys. Where are you? It won't be long before we're charged for oxygen. Well, we determined you breathe this much air. And here's your bill for it. You know, I may say like I'm joking, but I wouldn't be surprised one bit if that don't happen. And you know where it'll happen first? Yeah, California. Out there in California. They'll be the first ones to do that. Old man diecast. Oh, and one last point before I get in trouble. Oh, yeah, they hid this comment. Why is it that the last two non-white people running for president has had issues with their birth certificates? Obama and now Kamala. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't go into all that one because it goes back and forth. I was never able to pin it down. I will say this. You know, everybody calls Michelle Big Mike, okay? I joke around and call her that too. But I did some research pretty deep, man. And I, I could find all the way back to school pictures of her when she when it was a her. And I couldn't find anything that wasn't proven to have been altered or something that I... Because I've seen the pictures and most of those are pretty much... You can't prove they weren't altered. So I couldn't really ever prove that... She's a man like everybody says she is. Now, don't get me wrong. And maybe she is and they hide it really good. But I could never prove that. So I don't really believe she is. Because I, like I told you guys, you got to be honest about things or you're just lying to yourself. If, if you can't admit all these other things, then, then you're just full of shit. And I couldn't prove that. I couldn't. The things that I found, I should say, doesn't prove it to me. And another thing. The way they got that woke movement going the past four years and the tranny shit and everything, the gays in the military, which that ain't so bad. There's always been gays in the military. That, the, the trannies, the, the, the dude generals that are men dressed up like chicks. That It's just, it's, it's like the thing now. It seems like they would have come out and said, oh, guess what? Not only is she the first black madam, what do you, I forget, first lady, but she's a dude. I mean, it seems like they'd take that score too, you know? Be like, I'm not, I'm not only, I'm the wokest. She's a dude. You know, I mean, it seems like they'd score that point if they could. So I don't really know. 
But I'm not saying, I'm not saying she's not. I'm just saying I've never been able to prove that. Not, not enough to me. What I've found hasn't been enough to prove it to me. Anyway, um, so I don't know about all that. And then uh, Mr. Old Man Dicast again. She cried about needing the right to abortion. Why is she worried about it when they cannot define what a woman is? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Said she is, is firm on her position of fracking and guns, but yet said in 2019 she wanted to stop fracking. Yeah. Day one and have a mandatory gun buyback. Yeah, that's true. Lies, lies, lies. But they do not, but not once fact checked her, but did on Trump every comment. That's the fact. I watched the debate. I wasn't going to. Be honest with you guys. Hope you hang out. I know it's about diecast, but this is no, this is fucking chew it. You hew it, man. This is what I talk about. I was afraid I couldn't watch the debate because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think Trump's the best thing to, to help us save this country. He has to take it back. These woke people have to be gone. But I can't hardly listen to him talk a long time because he, 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 you know how he does. I, I had the biggest crowds. The, these crowds were, I mean, it's okay, 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 go on, go on. Tell me, tell me more about what's going on with the country like you did before, you know what I mean? And so I get to where I can't watch it no more and I go on. And uh, so, but anyway, I clicked on it. It just, I just happened to still be awake when it came on and I ended up watching the whole thing. And a couple times when she was able to get under his skin and run him off, I was like, dude, dude, stop, stop it. Go back, go back, answer that question. Drill her on the border. But by then it was too late. And I kind of understand it now because they were working against him. Like I said, the fact checks they put on him, they lied about. When they said you're wrong, he was right. And then hers, they didn't even fact check. They just let it go. So yeah, you're absolutely right on that. But they're being called out for that shit now. There it goes again, Mike. It gave you a break, but there it is again. And then we got another one from Old Man Diecast. Well, he's just rolling on right here. No wonder they censored him. We gotta shut this dude up. Anyway, President Kamala. Ha <laughs> LOL, he says. Just kidding. Yeah, I hope not, man. Oh my God. Lord help us. Doctor's office. And local AutoZone got hacked. People have been trying to use my debit card left and right. Yeah, that's, that's that's a fact. Then we got Rat Black said first. Nothing else. Ain't that no comment. And Mr. Fern C. He said, boom. Oh, no. He ain't have no more comments either. <laughs> so, anyway, if there's more comments, I haven't been able to find them, guys. Um, so, I don't know. Uh... Oh, those are nice, Fern. Check that out. Fern sent me a picture. Hey, James, check out these wheels. You ain't lying. Look at those babies. Look at that. Those are nice, buddy. Oh, did you... You put them on one of the... You did. That looks good. You put them on one of the NO64s. Look at that. Looks like he wheel swapped it. <laughs> Looks good too. Hey James, check out these wheels that I added to one of the cars that I won from one of your raffles. Oh, it's one that he won here. Yeah. It looks good on there, man. I like it. Oh, don't even start me to doing that to my NO64s and stuff. That car looked good with the wheels it had on it, but it looks a lot nicer with those on there. Yeah, it looks really good with those wheels on there. Right on, Fern. I'll have to respond to him in a minute. He's probably wondering why I'm not answering him anyway. Um, so there we go, guys. Uh, yeah, that's all it was. But yeah, that's the fact, guys. I mean... A lot of people will speak about it and it's true but um yeah we're doomed if something doesn't stop it and he needs to run all that out of there our military doesn't need to be what it is it doesn't guys we need badass military i mean i'm gonna say something i probably shouldn't say but i know it has to be true we don't know it he never says anything about it he doesn't complain about it he doesn't say anything about it but i know it has to be true our buddy jason the mustang hunter He's, he's a badass military dude, but he joined back when they were badass military dudes. I mean, he's been in there 
you know, 15 years probably. I mean, he's been in there a long ass time. He joined before all of this shit going on. Back when it was, you know, people were proud to go. Now, badass military dudes retired, they tell their sons, hell no, you stay away from that place. No more tink, they don't need us, uh-uh. And, and that's what it's grown into. A lot of people don't want to be in there anymore. They don't want no part of that screwed up shit. Well, Jason's stuck there. And imagine what he has to deal with. You gotta keep your mouth shut. You can't say nothing. You can he don't, he don't complain to nobody, but you know inside it's gotta be chapping his ass because he has to deal with that shit every day. And it's ridiculous. And they're promoting some of these dudes in dresses just to promote them. They didn't earn it. And then when they go to get a sex change or something in our military, they don't have to be deployed. I've heard other people complain about this in military. Those guys don't have to be deployed. They get to be protected for their for their time in the service while they go through their sex changes and shit. I mean, it's ridiculous. That is not United States Fighting Force military. That is not, they don't need to be there. That, that's, that shit needs to, all woke shit needs to go. Woke generals, woke everything. And that's what Trump should, has to do. He has to take, and the reason he has to take our military forces back is because these assholes plan on using the UN against us. Matter of fact, they already said that if Trump does make it to the White House, they're going to the Capitol to cause problems. They need, to, and, and, but, but anyway, our military needs to be doing what Trump says when he takes over. And anybody in there that's against that needs to be gone. They need to be out of there. Our new military needs to be what it was before. And then you will get diehard American patriots of all races, all, all nationalities that will want to support America and join again. Right now, they can't get people to join. Nobody wants to be in there. Nobody wants to deal with that bullshit that's going on in there. And, and, in the, and it shouldn't. I'm not saying go bash a bunch of dudes that want to dress up like chicks and say, I'm transgender, when you really aren't. You're full of shit. But look, go ahead, that's fine. But we don't need you in the military. We, we don't need you. We, we can't say, well, it's not fair. Well, look, I'd like to say I could jump into UFC and beat the shit out of Conor McGregor, but I think every single one of us know what would happen if I even got close to that fucking place. It ain't gonna happen. So what? It, what see, that's the ridiculous thing about it, is it doesn't matter. I can, let's, be honest, let's just break it down to a simple military. I can't go in there at my age and be this badass dude in the military. There's no place for me there. Maybe some office worker somewhere that does nothing. Maybe I could be useful. Well, that's where you put the, you don't have no, uh, some dude dressed up in a general, four-star general in a dress does not need to be in our military. That's just the way I see it. And it's the fact. You don't get, you don't, you're not putting any fear in another country with that kind of shit. And, and so, so much of that woke shit needs to go. It just needs to go. And again, I'm not saying go out and beat on these people because they want to dress up that way. They, but look at the people that this administration appointed to these positions. Transgenders everywhere. Look at the dude who kept stealing dresses at the airport. What are we trying to prove to people? Why is that dude there? Out. He needs to get control of all of that so he can defend our country from the people that they're going to try to have take it. And then and, and our military is, it needs to be able to do that. They need to be on our side. And I assure you this, there are more military members in there right now that will stick up for old school America. They're just afraid to say anything right now. Just same way all the cops were during the riots in 2020. They didn't like what was going on, but they ain't got no choice, man. They had no choice. Quit, and a lot of them did quit. But a lot of them don't want to lose everything they had. So they went out there and did exactly what they didn't want to do. You can see it on their faces. I assure you, there's plenty of people in the military just like that. But I, I bring I bring Jason up not to put any pressure on him or anything because he hasn't said anything like that. But I know he's a military dude. I know he's active. We all know who he is. So I'm saying, just think about what he has to deal with, or anybody you may know that's still in the service has to deal with now, with what they've done to that fucking military. It is. I would hate to be stuck in that. And watch what you say. And now when you're a service member, you gotta watch what you say everywhere. In your text messages, in your Facebook accounts, your, your all this other crap, you guys, I don't have all that shit. I got this YouTube channel. I don't have Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I don't have none of that. But you have to watch what you say in all of that because they'll hold it against you on all of it. So I, I would just be so miserable to be stuck in that position. And it, it'll only get worse if these people keep control. And, 
I know, this is another video I just went off, way off with diecast again and more into the situation we're in. But it is a serious situation. And there ain't nothing worse than waking up on the wrong side of the fence one day realizing that the time you should have listened passed back when that dumb shit with a Hot Wheel video was trying to tell you about it. And you ignored it. Just trying to say, because well, not just me, there's tons of people trying to tell you. And once you're locked up on that wrong side of the fence and you realize that your chance to fight back and resist and stop this from happening passed you by months ago because you did not pay attention, it's too late. And there's nothing you're going to want in your life more than to have had that opportunity back. Because it's so easy to give it away. But you're never getting it back. You are not getting it back. So that's why it's so important, dude. Uh, to everybody, dude, chick, guy, whatever you want to call yourself, it's important. Once you lose that, you're done. And so you can think you got all this as an escape. This ain't no fucking escape. Not if they take all that other shit from you. I mean, it don't work like that, guys. There is no freedom when you let them take it and take it and take it and take it. So anyway, but I wanted to mainly read these comments to let you guys know. If you posted more, I didn't, I didn't hide any of them. I don't hide comments. Even if people are talking noise, I don't hide the comments. Um, but that was YouTube. YouTube took it upon themselves to hide it, and they do that all the time. Because, but, but if you'll notice, leftist channels, they'll let them say all kinds of shit they know is not true. There's so many guys out there, Tony Michaels, Podcast, uh, MT, and all these other things, just lie, 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 and YouTube doesn't censor any of it. Because they're lying for them. They're lying for the other side. You know, so it's... but. What can you expect? They all work for the same people. They all work with the same people that wants to control everything. So, of course, they're going to do that, you know. So, but anyway, um, I just wanted you to know I didn't hide those comments. That was YouTube. I didn't even know they were there. Miraculously, I happened to see one, and that caused me to go look, and I found them. And I was like, you dirty dogs, man. Once again, tapping in on stuff and just hiding it from people so you don't know. So, so we don't get to see. That's the other thing they do when they lie to people and tell them the polls have Harris winning. That's a lie. That is a lie. Well, depending on who you ask. You're going to go look for 12 Democrats on the street of California and ask them? Shit, probably going to get 100% victory. But it ain't happening. Everywhere, there's more of us than there are of them dumb shits. You can bet on that. They're losing Gen Z. Everybody's waking up to the shit that they don't, that they do. So it's, it's really looking good. I mean, and you may have heard about the guy with his 12 keys or his 13 keys. So because of those 13 keys, Kamala's going to win. And he's predicted every election except for one a long time ago. Yeah, well, okay. The problem is, because I looked into every one of those, and a lot of his keys he's wrong about. But several of those keys he's got true on that are false. Some of them he's got faults that are true. And if you break them down and put them the way things are really going right now, Trump wins by far. So I don't know what's up with that dude. I don't know why he's lying about the keys. If this system he's got works, then why don't you fill out the answers correctly and so you can get the answer at the end? Because you're lying about shit. Says we ain't in any kind of war. The fuck we ain't. Says we haven't had any kind of military problems or losses. What was Afghanistan? Yeah, we did. All these other things. The economy's uh, doing great. No, it's not. Uh, but he's answering opposite on all those things. And it comes out at the end, Kamala's going to win. Now you're full of shit. So anyway, but maybe he knows. Maybe he knows that they're going to steal it once again. They're going to declare her the winner. And so he's going to make himself look right once again by saying, yeah, yeah, everything says it's going to be her because he already knows on the inside. Because I'm not going to keep going on this, guys. But if you dig deep enough, you're going to discover why it has to be that way. Why they have to make certain people, whether it's Republican or Democrat have to be certain people in that position. Because if you don't agree with the Charles Schwab or the Klaus Schwab's, the World Economic Forum, you don't believe, you know, agree with the Larry Fink, BlackRock, you don't agree with all of the people controlling shit and work with it, they don't want you in there. You've got to be in that position. And then they don't care if you're Republican or not. That's all just a game they'll play for us people. You get like wrestling or football. You guys go out there and watch that. But they got to have the right people in there. That's why Trump, he got to go no matter what. I mean, last resort. That Anyway, there you go, guys. We'll see what happens. I, I myself can't wait. I, I hope he gets in there and they go plumb nuts. 
and I hope they stir up some shit. I hope they go to the Capitol and they, and they do exactly what they said they were going to do. Go ahead, attack us. Set it off. Set it off. Go ahead and do it. I, 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 that, there's only one way to wash shit off your boots. And that's to wash it off your boots. And it's about time somebody washed it off their boots. So, anyway guys. These are up there now. And uh, go ahead and go get some if you want them. If not, you know the deal. Whatever. And uh, let me know if you want first, second, third, how you want it. And again, like I said, I may do that drawing Wednesday. I don't know. But stickers aren't supposed to be here till next Friday. So whatever. Um, and then I got more cars coming. It's funny. There's like they're all releasing at once, man. So when they get here, I'll get them sorted out and get those put up in there. And uh, there'll be a couple here and there I'll be giving away. So we'll get to that. And... Um, and again, hopefully, you know, nothing major happens because I'm not going to say I'm not, but the closer we get to the election, the more I may end up talking about it because it matters, guys. It really does. It, it is so important. It's unbelievable. Um, do I really think we'll ever get to where we don't have to pay taxes on overtime? No, I don't think they'll let that happen. But hell, it'd be so damn nice. It would be so nice, but... Whatever, you know, if we can at least save the country and get people back here the way it used to be, have jobs again for real Americans and shit, because it's, it's, it's bad. Like, you, I know I said I was going to go, but I wanted to mention one thing, one more thing, because I looked it up, and it was about the cats and the doll, you know, the pets being at 08 over there in um, Springfield, Ohio. Well, do you know that if you, I looked up, I started watching some of the people that were going to complain at the, uh, at the, uh, con at the, this, the, uh, dang it, where, uh, the city council, um, it was, there's more than that going on. Did you know that they are not renewing the leases on a lot of Americans that lived there in those towns for so 40 years? And they're letting these migrants that have come in there have the lease and they're getting like $200 a week per person and letting up to 20 live in a house against all rules that you get you're not allowed to do that anywhere in america they don't allow this many members in a home you, there's restrictions they're ignoring all that and they're looking into it now because and i believe that they're correct the reason they're doing that is the government's paying those it's like me i, I own this big ass house i can rent it out to you for two thousand dollars a month or the government comes to me the same way they did with hotels, chains, and everything else. And they say, look, we want to house these migrants in there. We're going to give you three to four times that amount. What dumb shit. A, a real diehard American? I won't do it. I'll say kiss my ass. I assure you that. No way. You're not, I'm not helping you. I'm not participating in destroying my country. But you'd be surprised. Most people, and maybe if I was more business-minded like that, maybe I would. Maybe I'd say, well, hell yeah, I'll take that money. And because they also guarantee that they will repair the damage caused by these immigrants. And so a lot of them are doing that because why would I renew my lease for you when I can get four times that amount from the guaranteed from the government? And now ask yourself, how's the government giving them that money? Yeah. Our tax dollars, once again. Our overtime money. Our tax money, again. While we watch our other fellow Americans get booted to the fucking curb. So these guys can have the home because they're going to get more money out of it. Yeah, that look it up. I'm not lying. I looked it up. I didn't keep digging to see how much of it has happened, but there's several people homeless now because of it. And a lot of them are homeless there that had a home. So the migrants can have it and they're stuck only because they weren't prepared for it to happen and they ain't got no way to get out of town. But they're, they're resilient Americans. I'm sure most of them will find their ways out of there. But who, who does that? Who does that to an American that lived there their whole life? That's what happened. You know, look it up. It's, 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 and some of these people are older. It's like, that is so pathetic, but that's what they do. That's how a lot of the, the big hotel chains and everything in New York and other places you heard about that were taken over by migrants because the government came in and, 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 and bought up all the floors. Yeah, they paid up to three times the amount that, you would have, that those own hotel owners and so on would have got for the room. So basically a $100 a night room became a $300 a night room, guaranteed by the government. And all damages guaranteed to be repaired by the government. Look that up. And now you'll see why all of them, uh, all of them big corporations that own those hotels said, well, hell yeah, we'll do that. That's how they're, that's what's going on. Yeah, I, I came across most of that 
looking into those damn pets. And um, it's like, dang, man, the hole just gets deeper and deeper, guys. But anyway, it's super important this shit gets ended. It's super important. So anyway, you guys take it easy. And again, you know, I can apologize for these rants. But hey, man, if, if, if I would prefer if you don't like who I am and what I say, that you just leave and don't come back. I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings. And I'm not here to... to to worry about entertaining you you know what i'm saying you and you don't have to sit there and listen to me so it isn't like i'm trying to get people i'm trying to force you down to a chair to listen to what i'm saying i i am totally fine with anybody that says you know what fuck this i don't watch this guy no more what do you want me to say dude toodaloo <laughs> so anyway the rest of you guys i hope you understand what i'm saying and take it seriously we're fucking screwed if shit don't change peace Outro.